Hey everyone, how you doing? Go to help. All right. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this lumber on that mill from some of these logs. In this video specifically, you're gonna see how I milled these beach logs. And you can see the, if you can see it in the camera, the spalting in the wood. So the first thing I do with every log that I mill is wash it with a pressure washer. And that's because all my logs are sitting on the ground. I don't really have a great method of storing them. Um, as you might see in some of my other videos, the logs are just everywhere. So they lay in the dirt and they get rocks and sand and dirt in the bark. And so I pressure wash them thoroughly before milling because all that dirt will dull the blades and pressure washing them will help extend the life of a sharp blade. So then I clamp the log up, I raise the head, um, the blade, up to the desired height, um, just along the top of the log, fire the engine up. So the reason we do that is we loosen this up over here and we slide the guide so it's just out of the way of the log. And it keeps the blade um, straight while it's cutting. So in order to adjust the guide, you just loosen up that knob there, slide it in or out and then clamp it back down. All right, here we go, let's get started. Here's our first cut. So you can see here that I wasn't able to make it so all the way to the end of the log. So what I normally do at this point is I could slide it forward and closer to the blade, but it's just gonna be a whole lot easier for me to just cut that section off. So I'll just cut it off right to where the blade stops. And it's gonna be a little bit shy of 10 feet, but most of my boards are anyway.
came out really nice. It's just a small piece, but you can see the uh, heavy spalting in it. Some curly grain there. It's a little rough, but it's a nice looking piece of wood. That's the first cut where we got to the point where we have a clean corner. So then I'm going to flip it again.
you'll notice at the end of this cut, the board kind of lifts up a little bit. And that is from the stress in the grain in the log. This log actually has been sitting for uh, well, two years probably, um, which is what caused all the uh, mold and spalting in the wood. Uh, so it actually made for pretty interesting wood. So right here I had problems sliding the saw head back because I was getting a lot of sawdust uh, caked up in the track and so the wheel was having a hard time rolling around so I took a minute to stop to clean that all out. So after getting uh, probably four or five, six good wide boards out of this log, I decided to flip it over and get myself some smaller boards. This way I have an assortment of sizes later on when the boards are dry. So at this point I pretty much cut out maybe like um, uh, five minutes or so of just cutting boards um, off of this piece. I cut the same board over and over again every time. And so I'm just cutting, I think they were like one by five or one by six boards um, off of the rest of this until I get down to the last piece. One thing I like a lot about cutting these narrow boards is the cuts are a lot quicker. So what I end up with on my last cut is what's about probably a two or two and a half by six and it's a little bit thicker on each end. So what I'm going to do, since that's got some nice, nice grain and spalting in this end and it's thicker and somewhat the same on this side and it's a little oddly shaped so it won't be able to really be used as a board. I'm going to cut these two ends off and then I'm cut them into sections about maybe a foot long um, and maybe use them as uh, sell them as pen blanks or something like that um, since it has a nice grain and color in it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those off and then what's left will just be uh, kind of what I'm going to leave as a board. It may be, I think it's a little bit uneven of a board but later on once it's dry can be uh, set to the right thickness with a planer and uh, be used for something. All right, that's it until the next log. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to cover milling a log in one video and I do have some footage of stickering and stacking and uh, treating the wood with uh, I have a pesticide that I put on it to eliminate the bugs because we do have a lot of powder post beetles and ants and things around and they're just always getting into the wood and so what I need to do is treat them and stack them and then um, uh, on some of the boards I have been putting anchor seal on I should probably be doing it on all of them but anyway um, so my next video I'm probably just gonna have a short video of just stacking the lumber and treating it so um, anyway I appreciate you sticking around watching this video if you're still here and you like the video uh, please subscribe to the channel click on the bell icon to be notified of future videos 
and throw some comments down below and let me know what you think and uh, also uh, at some point I'm going to take some of the uh, drier wood and start doing some projects with them so um, if you have some ideas on what sort of things uh, you, you'd like to see made uh, throw those down in the comments as well and I do respond to all comments so if you have any questions or just a comment whatever just drop those down in there and I'll check them out. Alright, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.